Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Finding arc length always gets students frustrated. There's a whole bunch of formulas and you have to express radius and angles in the radian and so on and so forth. It gets really complicated. Over the years, I helped students find a quicker way. Here's the way. We all know that giving a circle the circumference, or put a C, is equal to 2 pi r. Okay. It has to be 2 pi r because this is the length in units. Okay. Now, all you have to do with finding arc length is this, giving a theta. Okay. Arc length is part of the circumference. So you just set up a ratio. For 360 degrees, you have 2 pi r. And given, let's say, 45 degrees, what's the arc length? Set up at the ratio, so 360 over 45 is equal to 2 pi r over x, and x is our arc length corresponding to 45 degrees. Okay. From here, we can cancel here. This is happened to be 8, and let's say we were given r is equal to 8 meters. Then now let's just write it out. So you have 8x. I'm doing a cross multiplying drawing a butterfly, basically. So 8x is equal to 2 pi times r, which is 8. Okay, let's divide this. So x is equal to 2 pi meters. Or if you want it, since pi um, is 3.14, so it's 6.28 meters. All right, that's it. So to review, there's no need to memorize any formulas when you're dealing with arc length. Always just think of circumference. Circumference says if you have 360 degrees, which is the entire circle, you have 2 pi r, then giving a specific angle, you're trying to find out what arc length is. Set up the ratio problem. Okay, no need to memorize any formulas. And from there, it should be a piece of cake. All right, hope it helped. Have a confident day.